Welcome. In this video, I'd like to show you how this plugin Sticky Note Ads work. What Sticky Note Ads plugin does is to allow you to create a pop-up note ad that looks like this. You can write anything in this little note if you want. And when your visitor clicks on this ad, they can go to a page of your choosing anywhere that you want to send them to. So let's take a look at on the back end how this all this works. Now the plugin installs like any other plugin that you would have. Simply go to plugins at new and upload a plugin and you would choose a file that you have downloaded after you've purchased it. And once you installed and activated it, it will show up in your settings under a menu item called sticky note ads. So let's click on that. Before you can do anything with the plugin, you first have to create at least one ad. Now in here, as you can see, I've already created an ad that you've seen just a moment ago. Uh, so first thing I would do is I create a name for the ad. And this will not be shown anywhere to your visitors. That's just for your uh, reference only. And I have all these different types of ad or notice images already set up inside the plugin for you to use so you can get up and running quickly. So I can change this to anything that I wish. Perhaps I wish to have that instead. I can also upload a custom image here and I'll show you that in a minute. And then I have a couple of different options, what type of fonts that I want to use. Right now it's set to this font and maybe I want to change it to something else like this. And then there's a font size. By default, the plugin will enter 14 for you, but you can definitely change this to something larger if you prefer. The text color is also black by default, uh, but I have changed this to a blue. Uh, and then you enter a message of your choosing. And then finally, this is the key here, which is the destination URL. And that will be wherever when somebody clicks on it, where you want to send them to. Now this is optional because sometimes you want to add to just tell people a message or announce something to your visitors. So this is not an absolute requirement, but it is a nice feature to have. And the last option here is custom CSS. If you are very familiar with CSS or you're good at it, uh, you can definitely customize the style sheets code here and add your own for each ad that you have. And I'll save my settings. And there's the first ad. Now, after you've created your first ad, you will definitely want to set where this ad, you want this ad to appear. By default, uh, this is all disabled. Right now I have this ad just showing on a homepage, but if I want to turn it on Everywhere on the website, I would just select for all that particular ad for all the different locations. And then I can also go ahead and set the cookies. So by default, when somebody clicks on the ad or when somebody closes the ad by clicking the X on top, then the cookie will set and uh, people will not see the ad until 30 days later when they return. I can also disable the, ad the cookies temporarily. That's really nice if you are testing your ad. And then I can save. Well, right now we're testing it, so I want to show it all the time. And now when I refresh this, you will see that the note has changed to a different graphic and also the font of the ad. Now the ad can be anything that I want. It could be just a little graphic to wish people maybe a happy new year. So let's do something like that right now. I would go ahead and click new ad right here. And I'm gonna give the ad a name for my reference. And I will be uploading an ad of my own here. I'll upload files. We'll drag a file and drop it in here. And once it's done, I will just click on use this image. And a preview of the image will be shown. If I don't want to use this image, I can always click remove image and it will be gone. So let's reselect that. 
and then I don't have to add anything else in here because all the text and everything that I need is on the image and I don't need a destination URL because it just is a season's greeting image and not necessarily to send them anywhere. So I'll click save settings. Next thing I'll need to do is I need to set the ad location where I want that ad to go. So uh, I have already set it to go to the home page, the new year ad. I can also select it this way or uh, have this as flash sale and only the category pages as new year. You can have any kind of combination that you want or you can just disable it on the category pages or you can set all of them to the same as before. So right now I'm just going to click save settings. And next thing I'll do is I'll go to our home page and there is my new year message. If there are pages such as the checkout page right here that you do not want the ad to appear, let's go back to the page, all pages here, and we can edit this. Let's do edit. And in this section down here, uh, all I need to do is disable and update. And now it will be gone from the checkout page. And you can also do this for posts as well. Now you might also have noticed earlier that I can also overwrite this ad by page or for each page if I prefer. So right now I have it disabled. I can change this to the new year ad and click update. And now when I go to this particular page, it will show me the new year ad while other pages will show the other ad that is the default for pages. Well, I hope this plugin is exactly what you're looking for. It is very versatile. Go grab your copy today.